what is the a wave what is the c wave v x and a y let me brief you slowly and let me show you a mnemonic how to remember so a wave is nothing but atrial contraction right contraction there is no question of anything related to tricuspid valve in a wave the c wave is due to the um okay you tell me what is a c wave is c wave is nothing but a tricuspid bulging right tricuspid okay tricuspid bulging remember about the bulging okay so this is about the tricuspid bulging and the v wave is the tricuspid wall closing remember this when there is a bulging then move the next closing and make your two fingers stick together and there is a bulging then move it downwards it closes then what happens then tcv that is a tricuspid wall downward displacement okay now move your both the fingers towards the down that is a downward displacement and the last one is just move further it causes tcv that is a tricuspid wall opening right so this is how you can remember the mnemonic for this uh, jugular venous distension okay guys so let me revise the conditions and let me tell you once again a wave is a atrial contraction no questions of any tricuspid wall involvement c is tricuspid bulging v is tricuspid wall closing uh, x is a tricuspid wall downward displacement and the y is a tricuspid wall opening so this is the basic idea you can remember so let me move on to the next important things. I will ask you the questions you need to tell me. Raised JVD with normal waveform. Normal waveform. Tell me, where do you see the conditions? The JVD is raised, but the waveform are normal. That's nothing but heart failure, remember. Heart failure and fluid overload and even some fluid overload and even some conditions of bradycardia bradycardia okay guys so let me move on to the conditions where you raise, raise JVD with normal waveform and now the raised JVD raised JVD with absent pulsation no pulsation no pulsation no pulsation it's nothing but can you imagine the conditions you are seeing the raised JV, JVD but there is no pulsation there should be some obstruction that's a superior vena cable obstruction superior vena cable obstruction the superior vena cable syndrome okay so remember this is very important now the large A wave very important for uh, even for uh, examination and even for practical examinations also large A waves Large A wave, you know A wave, A wave is because of the atrial contraction. So if you want to get a large A wave, you need to have more or increased atrial contraction pressure. So where do you see if there is a tricuspid stenosis, tricuspid wall stenosis, 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 stenosis. When there is a tricuspid wall stenosis, there is an increase in the pressure over in the right atrium and this causes rise in the A wave. Okay guys? So now the other condition is a right heart failure, similar conditions, right heart failure because of the increase in the pressure, right heart failure. And the third one is a pulmonary hypertension. Same, when there is a pulmonary hypertension, the back pressure increases in the right ventricle, that increases in the right atrium and that causes increase in the large A wave. Okay guys, so these are the conditions. Now let me move on to the next condition that's Canon, Canon, Canon. A waves. What is Canon A wave? It's nothing but atria contracting against closed tricuspid. It's a contracting against what do you call it? closed tricuspid. The TCV is closed and it's contracting. The where the conditions you see Canon waves. One is atrial flutter. Atrial flutter. Then you have a third degree, third degree block. third degree block atrial flutter third degree block then you have ventricular ectopics ventricular ectopics in a third degree heart block the heart is beating on its own so that's why you see ventricular ectopics and a ventricular tachycardia and a ventricular tachycardia okay guys 
So this is about this um, Canon A waves. You see Canon waves in atrial flutter, then third degree heart block, ventricular ectopics, and ventricular tachycardia. And even you, you can see in the cases of premature atrial rhythm. So another condition, other condition I want to ask you is absent A wave. There is no A wave. No A wave means no unifocal atrial depolarization. Remember, no A wave. Where do you see no A waves? The A waves are absent. It's nothing but atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation. Okay. Atrial fibrillations. So the they are in the fibrillation mode, the atrias, and you cannot see any pressure that's reflected to the internal jugular vein, and you don't see any A wave. That's very important. Okay, let me move on to the next. That's a V wave. Large V wave. Large V wave. Where do you see large V waves? It's nothing but a tricuspid regurgitations. Remember, this is very important. Tricuspid regurgitations. What is V wave actually? V wave is nothing but the closing of the tricuspid walls. So large V wave you see when there is a tricuspid regurgitations. The pressure increases because of the regurgitation and that's why you see the uh, large V wave and the V wave is a positive wave. That's why you need to have increase in the pressure to see a large wave. Let me move on to the next slow Y descent. Slow Y descent. Okay, guys. So slow Y descent. Where do you see? It's nothing but tricuspid stenosis. Tricuspid wall stenosis. Stenosis. Y wave is nothing but what do you call? It's nothing but it's a negative wave, right? Y wave is nothing but is the opening of the um what tricuspid walls. So you see slow Y descent if there is a tricuspid stenosis or a cardiac tamponade. Cardiac tamponade. What is cardiac tamponade? It's nothing but Accumulation of the fluid or blood in the pericardial cavity, right? So this causes increase in the congestion, pressure over the heart. So that's why you see the slow Y descent. Now the paradoxical. Paradoxical. I'm going to discuss about the paradoxical JVD. That's a Kusumal science. Also called as JVD. That's a Kusumal science. Kusumal science. Kusumal science. I don't know spelling of the Kusumal sign. Okay, guys. So JVP, that's a JVD, it rises with the inspiration and drops with expiration. It should be more than 10, right? 10 mm. So JVD rises with the inspiration and drops with the expiration. Uh, conditions where do you see the paradoxical JVD are pericardial pericardial effusion okay pericardial effusion and the constrictive pericarditis constrictive pericarditis and the third one is a pericardial tamponade pericardial tamponade okay guys so this is all about this uh, JVD okay guys so this is all about this JVD sorry for the break um, so just revise yourself and try to know more about the JVD and if you have any important topics or if you have any, any anything you didn't understand please do tell us through the comments okay guys so we'll be waiting for you and please do watch our videos and please do share our videos with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe let me show you and thank you for watching this uh, uh, video on uh, all on unlock thank you so much thank you Take care.